thanks for visiting. Uh, this is your reading for uh, from now, I should say, from now, right now, whenever you're hearing this, to uh, the end of January. So it's a mid-month reading. And uh, as I always ask you, if you like this reading, um, please like, subscribe, leave a comment if that's what you'd like to do. You don't have to, I don't mind. And I'm going to start right now with your reading. No more delays, no more rubbish. Okay, so the first card you have you passed is uh, the Knight of Wands. Okay, lots of different things. I'm seeing a few things here. Lots and lots of changes. I'm seeing lots of changes. And I think they were happening on the inside. Yeah, changes on the inside of you. You're definitely changing. You're growing. Spiritually, I think that's what it is. You're growing spiritually. Um, I'm getting a bit of frustration here as well. Frustration inside you. Um, yeah, I think this is coming up in the past because these changes... I think you've been going through these changes for a long, long time. I think this process started a long time ago. So you're in some kind of phase of that now. That That's what I'm getting, or you were at this time. Um, yeah, it feels like you've always been quite spiritual, actually, even when you were a child. Um, but I think that side of you, it's been increasing definitely over the last few years, last two or three years. And I think over the last few months, it, it might have started to increase even more, a lot faster. And so now you're at this increased level. Um, but it's not a good feeling, I have to say. I'm not getting a good feeling. It's quite uncomfortable. It, it feels like you've kind of ascended up to a point. And uh, yeah, you've moved away from a group of people as well. I can see that as well. There are a lot of people in your past. Uh, and it's like they're in a completely different world to you now. It's like they're in one world where you used to be and now you're in a different one. So you've had to move away from those people and uh, you've had a lot of struggles over the past few weeks, I think. Um, yeah, not feeling very good, not feeling yourself, a bit down, you know, going through a lot of things. That's, that means you're going through a time of internal growth. That, that's what it is. You have the down times, and then you have the up times, up and down. It's, it's like a graph. You don't just go, you know, from nothing to fantastic, you know, slowly. You go up and down. That's what happens. You have to experience those downs to appreciate the ups. That's normal. So don't think, oh, what's happening to me? It's normal. Okay, because, um, yeah, just know that that's normal and just know that you'll come out of this. You really will. You'll come out of this a lot more positive. Um, you might have to do a second, I can't think of the right word, shedding. It's not a very good word, is it? But, you know, shedding of people, getting rid of some people. Oh, that sounds horrible, I know. But I'm not saying just get rid of people, but um, <laughs> there are some people that aren't with you, if that makes sense. Yeah, I'm seeing two people here, two specific people. There might be more as well, but two main people. You, you've taken them with you as you've gone up, you've taken them with you, you thought they were aligned with you, but they're not, they're actually behind you, and I think you're realizing that now. I'm seeing a lot of low level behavior, negative behavior, um, maybe they're negative toward you, but they're definitely negative toward other people, and quite petty as well, very low level. So you used to be able to operate on that level, and you can't now, you just can't operate on that level now. Because um, if you look at this knight, he's he's really chaotic. He's kind of you know he's going into battle, but he's not organised. He's not prepared. He's kind of all over the place, and uh, everyone has opponents. You know, everyone has even enemies. You know, it doesn't matter how enlightened you are. We're all human, and um, you know we we can't get along with everyone. It's impossible. But it's the way you deal with those people. That's what makes the difference between high level um, communication and low level communication and they're dealing with people on a low level a very low level and, and i think sometimes you know when these two people and there might be more as well they start talking about oh i hate that person they're this and they're that and it's all very low level and you're just like well i don't understand why you do why you even why you're even stressed about that it's like i I don't understand. It doesn't feel even important to me. Little petty things like, oh, they said this little thing and I'm really upset and then they didn't text me twice, they did it once and all kinds of crazy stuff. I don't know, whatever it is. And you're like, well, that's just really 
silly. I don't, I don't even know what that's about. So it's like they're speaking a different language. It's like they're speaking a different language. That's what it is. I'm not explaining that very well, but I hope you understand what I'm trying to say. Um, so if this is you, you will move away from these people. You definitely will. I don't know when that's going to happen because it feels a little bit delicate, actually. Um, it feels like a bit of a delicate operation, almost, because uh, their energy is chaotic, obviously, and, it, and so they're difficult. But you'll do this, you'll do this. And I think when you've done that, that'll help you to get out of this kind of down feeling a lot faster because uh, you won't have that energy around you. So I hope that makes sense to someone. I know it was a bit kind of all over the place, but I'm trying my best. So the next card you have your past is uh, the moon. Yeah, yeah, very down, all this kind of down feeling, you know, the moon's about what's happening on, on the inside of you. Um, and, you know, it can be depression. I don't think you're going through that, but it's that kind of thing down that road. Um, don't start feeling as if you're going backwards if you're going through this rough time. Um, you know, because when you're ascending uh, and when you're going through the down times, it can be really hard to remember that, you know, you, there are up times that comes with that. Um, you know, you can get so consumed that you forget. So don't forget that. You know, if you're going down, you're about to go up. You're about to go up. Um, and yeah, this is probably a strange analogy, but you know, when, when women go through childbirth, obviously there's a lot of pain, but the outcome is uh, hopefully a beautiful one. And you know, you hear of mothers, um, you know, once, once the child's born saying, oh, I feel, I feel really happy now. I've forgotten the pain. I'm so happy I've forgotten the pain or I've forgotten how bad it was. Maybe they remember the pain, but they, it, it doesn't feel as bad because they're so happy. So just just remember that, you know, if you're going through this, it's going to be worth it. There's a beautiful reward at the end of this. Um, yeah, I'm getting this as well. There, there's something else here. Um, you're not exactly where you want to be physically, especially career-wise. You want to be somewhere else. That That's what I'm getting. Or you did at this time because this is in the past. Um, yeah, I've seen this in some of your other readings as well. Um, I've got this really, really strong feeling here, it's very strong, um, that you're here to help people, help other people, teach them, maybe even heal people. I don't know how, in some way, I don't know how that is. If that's the case, if that resonates with you, everything you experience, you know, everything you learn, especially bad things, you know, bad feelings, all that, um, you need to experience that so you can help other people. If you haven't been where they are, if people are hurting, if they're going through things, if you haven't experienced it, you can help them, but you can't do it on as deep a level as if, you're, as if you've experienced it yourself. I'm getting tongue-tied, but I think you know what I'm trying to say. So, um, yeah, so in your future, you might have already started this, maybe you're planning this, um, but yeah, it feels like your career is going to be centred around helping people in the future. So think about that as well. The more you experience, the more experience you have, good or bad or whatever, uh, to be able to offer other people help. So yeah, this is really, really beautiful. I love this. It, it's, this is taking you to a beautiful place in your life. It doesn't feel like that when you're going through the lows, but trust me, you are, if, if this is you. Okay, so the last card you have, you pass uh, the Four of Swords. Um, so yeah, again, when you're in the middle of something like this, um, it can be really tempting sometimes to just say, oh, forget it, this is too hard. It's too hard, I can't do this, I can't. But you can't go back. Once you've started, you can't go back. Sorry to tell you that. Um, you know, it's, it's like, I, I just don't want to learn anymore. I don't want to experience anymore. I, I just want to, you know, go to bed and like this man and watch Netflix or something. <laughs> you know, it can be really, really overwhelming going through something like this. You do, and isolating as well, because this man's by himself. But yeah, there are some people around you who, I think they're either going through this or they've been through this. Yeah, there's one specific person here. Um, yeah, they're quite busy, but they're open. I'm seeing someone who's open, they're caring, uh, I think they've had a really interesting experience with this kind of ascension process. So, um, and I kind of, it, it kind of aligns with yours as well. So, um, if you know who that is, 
absolutely talk to them. They'll, they'll be able to fit you in, even though they're busy. Um, but if you don't know who, if you don't know anyone like that, um, you know, it might just be that your body's telling you to to just get some rest. I know that sounds basic when we're talking about all these profound things, but uh, sometimes that's all you need. That's all you need, a physical rest. So definitely get that if, if that's what you need. And drink lots of water as well, if this is you, that helps as well. Um, okay, I'm getting something quite literal here as well. Um, it feels like someone's exhausted, resting. You know, they're resting after a battle, after some kind of conflict. Definitely a battle. So if, if you've had some kind of argument or some kind of run in with someone, um, they're exhausted. <laughs> you've exhausted them. <laughs> So you're so strong, just know that if you've exhausted this person. But just watch out because, um, yeah, watch out. Because I think they're thinking, uh, yeah, they're thinking something like, you know, what am I going to do next? What am I going to do in the next round of this battle? So they're gearing up for the next round, I think. So watch out for that. Um, yeah, this is quite a, this is another very low level person or it might be one of these other people I was seeing. Um, in in the Knight of Wands or the Moon card or wherever it was, um, yeah, might be them or it might be another person. But this is a very low level person, very low level energy, very low level energy. So if if they come back, if they try and bother you, or whatever they try and do, don't waste any time engaging with them because this is low level. You know, you're dealing with higher things. You're going through all this to get yourself up to the next level so you can pull other people up with you. You want to hold people by the hand and pull them up with you and help them. That's what your job is. That's what your job is. You know, if you reach out to them, you're not going to be able to pull them up. They're going to pull you down. Even if you just give them a tiny bit of attention, they'll try and drag you back with them. That's what I'm seeing. So watch out for that person. Um, it sounds like I'm saying, you know, it sounds like I'm saying, oh, oh, you're better than them. That's not what I mean at all. I'm not saying that at all. No one's better than anyone else. But on a spiritual level, you're in a different place to where they are, totally different place. And uh, they don't want to leave where they are right now. They want to stay where they are and they want to drag other people back with them. So if you know who this is, I hope you don't actually, but if you do, don't engage with them. Don't engage with them if you can help it. That's very, very heavy. It feels heavy to me. So that's telling me heavy energy, um, negative energy. Don't deal with them because you're going upwards. That's where you're going. Okay. All right. So the first card you have your presence, the King of Swords. Yes. Okay defensiveness that's what this king's about defensiveness there's perception as well someone's perceiving something about you and uh, someone wants to talk to you I'm seeing that they want to talk but they're not doing that they want to talk but they're not that's what I'm seeing because they're defensive or they think you are it's something like that uh, yeah it feels like they're picking up on energies from you yeah, they feel removed from you, actually, emotionally removed from you. There's definitely love here. There's definitely love there. Um, this is someone who loves you, or they feel love for you. They have feelings for you. They're attracted to you. I'm seeing that. But they're acting like this. They're acting like this king. Really defensive, keeping their emotions to uh, one side, or putting them to one side, I should say. Um, it's like they don't want to let themselves feel. It's like, no, I won't let myself feel because um, I do have feelings, but I don't want to let myself feel those feelings because I'll just get hurt. And I don't know how the other person feels about me, so I won't let myself feel that. That's kind of what I'm getting. Um, yeah, if this is all resonating, if you're going through this ascension process, which is what I'm seeing all over this reading, um, it, it's obviously it's obviously a really personal experience. It is for everyone. And when people go through something like that, they usually want to be alone. You know, they want to keep things to themselves so they can process things by themselves. And you know, it can be physically tiring as well, and I was seeing that in the Four of Swords. So it looks like they see you as someone who wants to be away, wants to be by yourself, 
and they see you like the high priestess as well so we'll talk about that here as well and um, because the high priestess she can be this kind of unobtainable untouchable woman you know she's wise uh, you know she's knowledgeable obviously spiritual and uh, she's on this high level that's where you're getting you're getting to the level of the high priestess and she's above all the things that are going on on the earth she's just above everything so that's how they feel about you as well they feel as if you're distant there's a barrier between you you're up high you're not talking to them they feel as if they can't reach you they can't reach you you're keeping to yourself you know you're dealing with what's happening on on the insides what's happening to you spiritually but they can't see what's happening on the insides they can't see your insides all they can see is you being distant holding back and they're mirroring you or that or they're mirroring what they think you're doing so if you're wondering why someone's being distant uh, you might not be wondering that because you know you're keeping to yourself you're focused on yourself um, but um, if, if you're wondering why, that's why. I think they used to contact you a lot, and that's changed. That's changed. So you might be feeling that. I don't know. But if you are, that's why. That's why they're holding back. So that's what I'm seeing in that card. So, yeah, the last card you have your presence, the Seven of Swords. Horrible, horrible, horrible card. Okay, I'm seeing this literally, actually. Really literally. Someone wants to take something that's yours. Uh, they feel as if they deserve what you have and that's what stealing is all about obviously taking something that's not yours because you think you should have that so that's what someone's doing um, I'm seeing work here yeah you're really working hard you're working hard at something it might not be in a normal workplace situation actually because um, I don't know if that's, this is going to make sense but I think this is happening remotely so they're doing something remotely someone's trying to use their words i always see swords as words you know you, you take away the s in swords and you've got words and words could be used to stab and hurt which is what's happening here but um yeah what i'm seeing is they're using words to try and talk about you or discredit you in some way it might be that they're trying to steal people from you yeah they might be trying to steal your clients or um, just talk about you to put people off you or something like that it's something like that using their words to steal from you and it's around work so that might be what that is um, and yeah I'm getting this really kind of defeated feeling around this as well a really down feeling so you might be feeling a bit defeated right now yeah that's the feeling I'm getting kind of like oh defeat they've done this it's like oh they're getting away with this they're getting away with this that's what I'm getting they're getting away with this if that's how you're feeling, um, yeah, the first thing I want to point out is you've got some really loyal people, some really, really loyal people around you, especially around this work thing or whatever this is. But yeah, they're not going to get away with this and I'll show you why that is. Okay, I'm gonna lift this up, up so you can see everything on this card. Okay, so this is why. This is why they're not gonna get away with this. If you look at this card, just behind this man there are two swords sticking up in the ground and they're stuck in the earth they're solid they're not moving so you've got people around you who know you they know who you are and they're going to stick by you they're stuck in the ground they're not moving so just know that the other thing is it's really really tiny it's a bit hard to see i don't know if you can see this um Yeah, I might put this on my Instagram actually so you can really see this properly. But um, yeah, if you look at the swords he's holding um, and you look at where they're pointing, they're forming an arrow and they're pointing down. There's a silhouette of a group of people and they're watching this man. They can see what he's doing and you know, it looks like someone in the crowd's holding up a sword actually and they're probably yelling, hey, what are you doing? Or something like that. So they're spotted him, they can see him. So other people know this, people can see this. So they're not going to get very far, especially if they're using these kinds of tactics. If people can't see what they're doing now, they will. They absolutely will at some time. It's not going to work for them. 
I'm not just saying that, it's on this card. That's why I wanted to show you that. They're not going to get away with this. People are seeing what they're doing. So just remember that. Okay, so, oh, that was really heavy as well. So, okay, so with the future, the first card you have your future is uh, the Empress. Oh, so this is a really peaceful card, much better than that one. So I love this, beautiful. Look at how peaceful she is. She's resting, she's in comfortable clothes. Okay, so I'm still seeing this dynamic between you and this other person, this love connection. I'm not sure where you are with this, with this actually. I can't quite see whether this is a full-blown relationship or whether it's someone you're just talking to because the, the communication isn't happening. It's just not happening and that, that's probably why. Because if you're not talking, I can't tell if it's a relationship or what it is. But yeah, it, it's really frustrating actually because they have a lot of really, really strong feelings for you, very deep feelings. And you know, they're a caring person, um, but they've got this impression of you in their mind that you're not interested or you're holding back or something like that. Um, it might have to be you that opens up to them because uh, they've really gone backwards, they've really retreated, um, but, but there's love there. And the Empress is uh, the caring one, you know, she's the loving one, the nurturing one. So yeah, it might be down to you to open up first, especially if they're coming across as, uh, you know, the King of Swords, and you're coming across as the Empress. <laughs> Big difference between the two. So you're going to have to nurture them, you're going to have to come out if, if that's the case there. The other thing I'm getting in this card is this teaching, this kind of sharing your knowledge. That's where your future is. I keep on seeing that helping people like the Empress, she helps people, she cares about people. So I'm not sure how you're going to do that, but I'm definitely seeing a career, a vocation, and it's in your future. It's not just going to be a career though, it's going to be a part of you, or it is already, because um, this ascension process, it's helping you with that. It's leading you to that, whether you realize it or not. So that's where you're being led to. Um, okay, I just feel as if I have to tell you this as well. Stay calm, <laughs> especially when you do this as a career or whatever this is or whatever this is going to come to. I think it's a career. Um, you're going to come across a lot of different people from a lot of different backgrounds. They're all going to be on different levels spiritually. And it's going to be a really big challenge for you, really challenging. Um, so yeah, keep that in mind. Helping people means they need help. If you're helping someone, it's because they need it. So they're not going to be at a level where you are. They're going to be all over the place, all different people. And that's why you're there. So yeah, keep calm. Stay patient with people. <laughs> so I hope that makes sense to someone. You might be having to go through that now. You might be having your patience tested now. If you are, it's because you're in training for that. that that's what I'm seeing. Okay. So the next card you have for your future is the King of Cups. Yeah, look at this king. He's emotional. He's got all this water around him. He's feeling things, but he's not reaching out. He's not saying anything. He's just sitting there stony silent. Um, there's definitely emotion there, there's love there. Again, I can't see how much is coming from you, but I think from them it's huge. It's surrounding them, it's everywhere. You know, they can try and deny it, but they can't, it's all around them. So if you're not in a proper relationship with this person, or if you've been on and off with them or something like that, yeah, you were definitely interacting with them a lot at one time, but you're not now. And there was a lot of passion there as well, a lot of passion between you but it's very different now. Um, it can come back um, because there's, there's just so much love there, but there's a lot of stubbornness here as well. I'm seeing a lot of stubbornness and it's coming from them. It's like they're thinking, no, no, I'm not gonna go toward them. I'm not gonna say anything. They have to show me. I want them to show me I'm worth it to them. No, I'm so stubborn. I could talk to them. I want to talk to them. I love them, but I'm not going to do that. I'm just going to sit back and wait for them. That's what I'm seeing. And um, I'll talk about the three of wands here because it's fitting in with everything I'm seeing here. So again, they love you. They want to wait for you, but they're just so stubborn. They're so, so stubborn. Oh, it's so frustrating. Um, 
they're not going to be the one to reach out first. They're not. But they're not getting away. They're not stepping away either. They're waiting like this man. They're waiting for you. So I think the result of this probably depends on how stubborn you are. <laughs> but, uh, you know, you're, you're really involved in yourself. You're involved in your own issues, especially spiritually. So um, you might not even be picking up on what they're feeling. But, uh, yeah, that's what I'm getting. It looks like it's up to you from what I'm seeing here because they're so stubborn. They're so, so stubborn. They might change eventually, but this is what I'm seeing now. This is the energy now. They're waiting for you. They're waiting for you. They're not backing down, even though they've got all these really strong feelings for you. That, that's what I'm seeing. So Leo, I hope this resonated, but uh, general readings uh, won't always resonate, as you know. But again, if you like this reading, uh, please like, subscribe uh, or leave a comment if you'd like to. And uh, thank you for watching.